You can overcome any self-doubt that might be holding you back. And in this video, I'd like to show you one way to do this. Hi, I'm Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part nine of How to Change Beliefs. Once it is accepted that you literally learn a number of limiting beliefs relatively early in life, it becomes imperative to understand the impact they can have on the results that can be achieved in so many areas of life, whether it's career, relationships, health, financials, and so on. And then it becomes really important to challenge their validity. So how are our limiting beliefs formed? Well, in a way, your nervous system and your mind gets contaminated with unresolved negative emotions and limiting decisions. So as you develop your experiences, your memories, and the beliefs based on those decisions are stored. But the unconscious goes a step further. It stores information in discrete categories chronologically so that it can be retrieved, processed, and updated if you choose to do this. It's so important to realize that you're not born with these limitations. At birth, your mind is perfectly clear and your imagination is pure dynamite. It's really prime for action and it knows no boundaries. Every significant emotional experience and its emotional repercussions is not only stored, it can also create a negative emotion and a limiting belief. In turn, these experiences loom to quickly govern your actions. These beliefs become the rules that dominate your thinking and the decisions you make about yourself and your capabilities. These rules are unconsciously adopted and believed in 100% rules being rules. These beliefs become a self-imposed maze and it can be a struggle to find your way through. By the way, many limiting beliefs serve a positive purpose even though they are negative and restrictive. They're often formed to protect and keep us safe. Unfortunately, these beliefs are mental barriers that stunt the potential to fully utilize your resources. It is easy to become dissociated from what is possible. Attempting to succeed when saddled with limiting beliefs, well, it's like trying to jog barefoot through treacle. Don't try it. The mind maze formed is likely to obstruct your progress in some areas. This is why you need to know your mind. You know, it's all too easy to wander around feeling trapped in your own thinking maze unable to break free to get the results that you want. Doing the same thing in the same way every day doesn't change anything. To resolve a barrier, you need to separate the intention of the belief from the behavior that it causes. Just consider, what other way could you learn and use, a way that preserves the benefit, even something like protection, without compromising your ability to get improved results? As you know, we are creatures of habit, not only physically in what we do, but also psychologically in how we choose to think. Rather than being caught in such a maze, you can change, transform, and transcend into something, well, quite amazing by tackling what the maze conceals. In other words, identify and challenge a limiting belief. Well, how? Well, here's one solution. Use your gifts of imagination and curiosity. Think what may be possible for you if you let go of a limiting belief. Daydream about it. Even dare to consider what may seem to be impossible for you right now, but probably isn't. Just allow your imagination to find a way through the maze. It will if you let it. There's always a time to be practical. Now's the time to be curious. Your imagination can make your reality simply seem like a work in progress, not set in concrete. However, like any work in progress, action is required. The difference between a dream and a goal is a timeline, so action must be taken. Just go ahead and look back at the past when a belief was originally formed and think about it. Now, use your imagination, look into the future, close your eyes, and allow yourself to create the kind of future you would really love to make happen. And then take a limiting belief and flip it so you've virtually got the polar opposite. And then close your eyes, look into the future, 
and just imagine how life will be for you when you fully employ this new belief. And repeat this several times. Just really imagine it and then take action. A feature of the unconscious is that it doesn't distinguish between something that actually happened and something that you imagined happened. So why not go ahead and imagine yourself succeeding with a new belief? You know, limiting beliefs can cause you to no longer see, no longer hear, no longer feel, no longer smell and no longer taste what success is really like and also no longer touch and no longer consider your own attributes and talents. And once you steadfastly begin to dream daily about what is possible and make this a habit, the puzzle, the riddle, what the maze represents can be unscrambled. And like a breath of fresh air, you can go forward in your life feeling unrestricted and really create the future that you would ideally love to have. Perhaps it's time to expand your vision. Explore what you will achieve when you decide to let go of all self-doubt. Daydream about it. Imagine it. This can be a tipping point, a moment when you adjust the parameters of your thinking and cause your mind to transition to a new belief. And your imagination and curiosity will point the way, will help you to achieve it. That completes this part. Thanks for watching. Go to knowyourmind.com, click in the description box below, and let me know where I can send you something I believe will be of enormous benefit to you. I'll also send you a simple process to finally confront and remove a limiting belief. Now remember, you have many faces, so let's put them to use. Let's start the creative process of assessing and challenging those limiting beliefs that compromise your results. Just take a deep breath, be curious, use your imagination, open yourself up to possibility and decide which of these beliefs should be challenged, should be abandoned and replaced. So until next time, take care. Cheerio for now.